Good evening and welcome everybody to a special edition of TGIB video podcast blogger creativity thing of the web 2.0. Today, we want to talk about why the Impotence Viewer is so awesome. And um, music. This is... What's his name? Jimmy Sabara and Oceans. The Impotence Viewer is awesome. You can get it from the internet. And... Coquaviewer.org, where you can find the latest downloads and under the download links, and um, you can watch the blog for um, upcoming experimental releases and stuff. Also, they have wiki forums and um, some kind of Jira issue tracker, which I can't find here at uh, redmine.cocovaviewer.org um, all of these can be used to uh, for communication back to, to the developers of Cocoa I'm sure they appreciate every input they can get I'm using the latest experimental release um, of 20th of March 2011 for a Mac and um, the first thing why Cocoa is so awesome is already shown on the login page. Because here we have, well, this is new, we have some quick links at the bottom which show the latest um, info about Imprudence and Cocoa. And um, a new screen here that shows when there is no login page set. And we have a very handy grid manager here, which is very, very useful for all you OpenSIM folks out there, because um, many of us have accounts on several grids, and um, the grid manager already comes populated with the major OpenSIM grids, Third Rock Grid, Aurora Grid, Craft, Cyberlandia, Giant Grid, Inworlds, Legend City Online. I don't know. There. Meta 7 Osgrid, Asgrid Doped, which is the test grid of Osgrid, Planet X, Reaction Grid, what is this? Role playing world, Science Sim, Second Life, of course, and the Beta Grid, these are mine, the Goa Grid, the New World Grid, World Sim Terra, and your alternative live. On top of that, you can add your own grids by clicking the grid manager, which opens the grid manager window and if a grid and you click on add new grid now basically if a grid is set up correctly then all you need to enter is a grid name for that let's call this TGIV and the login URI which is tgiv.co.uk And then you click on Get Grid Info and you should receive back from the grid all the info you need, which is the login page, where the accounts are handled, several other meta information. And you click on OK. And then it tells me a grid with the same name already exists. Well, let me make this really test. which we then choose out of the drop-down menu and um, you can see the login page for the grid you choose. This is um, for the TGIB public standalone. Then you enter your credentials and you log in. As you can see, I don't have uh, the login bar an anymore, which is another feature of Impotence. You can turn off the login progress bar and uh, 
this is another feature. You can crash in Imprudence. Um, but actually, you can crash in Imprudence as you can in any other viewer. Let's see. There we are. Um, And we can have a look at all the different features Imprudence offers. Um, different from the official Second Life viewer or other third party viewers. One of the ones that I um, have already opened here is the Minimap Radar, which is something that, um, that a lot of people need to first get used to when they switch from another viewer to Imprudence. Because the mini the radar is included into the minimap, that means the minimap needs to be open for the radar to show. And the radar shows when you click on this small icon down here and then it pops out of the minimap. You can enlarge that if you need. No you can't enlarge that. You can only enlarge the minimap. And it will show you the avatars within a certain range, which you can pull up to 20, 24 meters. And um, it's divided into two tabs. One is the avatar tab, where you can I am someone, open their profile, offer teleports, teleport to the avatar if it's within range, track him across the um, region, Invite them to a group, add them to your friends. And then the estate tools, if you have estate rights um, on the parcel or on the, on, the, on the region, you can zoom the camera to the, the selected person, freeze them, eject them, ban them, unmute them, un or report them. If we open Preferences in Imprudence. Um, you will see that several um, settings have been removed or relocated to um, other tabs. For example, you have um, In the input and camera settings for autopilot, for double click action and autopilot. Um, the chat tab allows you to turn on and off the typing animation when you're chatting, which I find annoying, that's why I turned it off. You can have you have four different skins now to choose from several different fonts. Imprudence was very picky about their font because they wanted to use one that was um, publicly licensed and would not violate um, the GPL under which the source code is distributed. And um, what's important is the advanced tab which allows you to disable the login and log out and the teleport screens. Um, allows you, this is a nice setting, to display wind light settings, um, regional, region wind light settings, which is called light share. We will, I'll show you um, an example about that soon. You can change HTTP texture fetch, fetching, which is experimental. And um, you can also, if you don't like the new pie menu layouts, 
switch back to the legacy pie menus and um, use MU post style chat in IM auto close out of character chat and uh, use chat bar as a command line for commands like go to a certain height teleport to ground etc also it's got a spell check feature built in and um, you a built-in translator which uses Google Translate for local chat. Another nice feature that is built into Infrident is a client-sided um, animation overrider, which is in the view menu, clicking on animation overrider. The animation overrider requires a CHAO2 compatible note card, which um, you can either copy from your existing AO or create a new one. Um, if you click on new note card template, it'll create one for you that you can edit. I editing this note card is pretty simple, but it's the instructions are on the top here. But basically, you need to copy paste the names of the animations that is that that should be played after the um, according section in the AO note card and then save it and then pull the note card to the AO It might take a while at first um, until it loads the AO. Which um, gives us time to have a look at a very nice feature. I'm currently on um, the TGIB standalone running Open Simulator 0.7, and here I have rest um, a nice panel that was created by the people of Meta7, who also um, made an addition to Open Simulator called LightShare, which is basically server-side wind light settings. That means um, you can set a certain wind light setting for a region and everybody who visits this region will have their viewers wind light setting changed to the one that you specified in that region. Um, if this setting is um, set to on. You can change it here to always change to the regional wind, wind light setting. Ask you every time uh, you enter a region that has this feature built in or to never do that. I have set it to always. How this works is... Well, this panel actually shows it quite easy. Um, let me zoom on to the horizon. And you can see on the fly that I can move over this here and it will automatically adjust the according setting in wind light. This is the ambient setting you can change. Also, let's change the cloud color. And uh, what about green? change the sun and moon position and basically everything 
that is included in the Advanced Sky Editor from the color of the horizon, color of the clouds, the lighting to clouds, also water and um, in a later version of this panel you can even set the water bump mapping texture. It'll show the stand animation here. If you have several specified, you can change it here. And um, if you click on more, it will show you the default animations for every specified um, part of the note card. Once it runs, you can close this. By the way, let's bring this back. You can also check this small um, option which shows a handy AO menu in the toolbar where you can turn it on or off and um, also switch it so um, it'll work when you stand but not when you sit. And uh, since this is a viewer option and not a scripted option, it will work even in no script areas and it will work across the hypergrid. Now... Another reason why Impotence is so awesome is that you have very handy buttons down here where you can access um, features that are quite frequently used by a single click. It, click in the editor will open the environment editor. Clicking on the sky button will open the sky editor where you can go through your wind light settings here or click on this button and access them directly. Also, if you open this, you can turn up your draw distance to up to 1,024 meters. This is a new limit um, introduced by Imprudence Experimental 10 point, no, 1.4 and the maximum particle holes. Another very handy feature is for builders. Impredence has a few um, useful build options built in where you can specify um, the minimum grid units and subunit snapping which means that if you zoom in I mean, if you have um, the grid set to 0 0.05 like I do, then it'll snap at every um, 5 centimeters. If you zoom in closer, these 5 centimeters will be broken down into um, fragments of them, so it's distance of air. Um, you can set the opacity here. You can set the um, uh, default object size for every for an object that is um, to be rest. Um, turn on selection outlines. Limit the select distance, which is usually turned off in the advanced menu. You can change it here. Show the axis on the root prem and red. And then you can also check to make sure that if you res an object to use the land group for the object if the land has a group and you are part of it. 
Uh, also, you can change the decimal places um, that are shown behind the object, uh, the, behind the edit field. The first thing you might notice when you look at the edit window is that there are um, there is a fifth button that can be um, selected, which is the Align tool that was um, created by Quarrel, uh, formerly of Linden Labs. The Align tool means that if you have several trims that you have pressed, can click the align tool and you will bring them all together in one place. Which is rather useful if you want to make, um, for example, a straight line of three trims and make sure they are all at the same height and width. Impredence also makes use of building math, which means that every input field can use a mathematical formula. For example, um, if you want to make a prim that is um, 4.72 times the size of uh, the, the width in x x direction than it is in y direction. Look that up. So. Four hundred point seven three point times three. Let me calculate that for you. Oh, yeah, you need to use E Y for the size S Y. Four point seven three times S Y. And it'll calculate that for you. This works for every input field you have with several parameters which are shown in the Impedance Wiki at um, wiki.cocoaview.org slash wiki slash impedance column build underscore math underscore expressions where you can see all the variables. A very, very cool and useful feature for Impredence is you can 
use local texture files. If you open a texture, any texture, either in, um, in the building menu or in um, appearance, texture you see two tabs one is for the inventory which of course shows textures in your inventory and one is for your computer where you can add a texture that is locally stored on your computer um, if you click on add it opens um, your file browser and you can pick a texture from there And it'll show down here. And if you click on that, it will be displayed in world on the accordion part. Which is handy because it saves you the uploading of textures. This works for any texture, which means also for sculpties. Um, Speaking of textures, another handy thing to, to use is if you upload an animation, you will no longer see the roofed avatar in your preview window, but it will, all, will be displayed on your avatar in world. Um, Click on play. You will see the animation played on the avatar. Which allows you to um, adjust it to your avatar more easily um, and not having to upload every animation to, try to test it. Speaking of uploads, you can of course if you need to, and if you like to, upload temporary images, which means that if you click on upload image, you can check this little box called temporary image, and um, it'll be uploaded temporarily to your inventory, which means that texture will only be there as long as you are logged in. If you log out, it's not, it's going to be gone. This is a useful feature for um, if you want to preview uh, things in world or if you just want to show something to friends temporarily without having to pay an upload fee for it in Second Life for example. Um, temporary textures will be shown in your uh, inventory in italics um, with the uh, with the addition temporary. They can be seen by everybody in the same region if you apply them on a prim but they will not retain um, a crash or logout. Uh, they will be gone after your next login. So. 
Another useful thing for some of you maybe is that Impotence supports the Restrained Live viewer features um, which can be turned on and off in the advanced menu. And it also um, allows a few additional features in the advanced menu. For example, you can um, show, turn on show look at, which is, um, as it says here, a debug setting that displays where an avatar's head is looking. It will not show where an avatar's camera is actually pointed and should not be relied on any form of privacy. Which gives a small cross in front of your avatar that is um, that shows your name. So if you're in a region with several avatars, you will see several crosses and um, the names of the avatars they belong to. If you zoom on something, the cross will show where your camera zoom is um, centered on. But as you can see, it will not show where your camera is located, so my zoom target is this box, but my camera may well be somewhere else in the region, in this case behind the end. Another very cool feature that I la sadly cannot show you now is um, Purple Haze, which means that any roost avatar will show as a purple cloud. And um, a nice little feature that Imprudence uses is um, displaying the um, stream info in local chat. If there is a uh, radio stream online that dis that kind of broadcasts the info about the songs being played, then they will be displayed in local chat. Okay, this would be all for now. I hope this gave you a small insight into the Impotence Viewer and why I usually recommend it to use with OpenSim as it has several features that are very useful in OpenSim and are not provided by many other viewers. Um, other than that, Please look for yourself. You can get the Impotence Viewer from kokioviewer.org. I think impotenceviewer.org redirects to kokioviewer.org. Cocoa Viewer is um, the new name of the project. Is It is uh, going to be the name of the Viewer 2 based Impotence third party viewer. And. Um, well, I'm looking forward to see what this one is going to be like. Thank you very much for listening in. This was TJB.